my parents should have put me up on more game. Like, I feel like they should have talked to me. I feel like they should have helped me or told me what not to do or what to do or different things like that. And now that it's like I'm not a child, I feel like I'm not being parented anymore. Um, and that's kind of what her post was about about feeling abandoned by her parents and even though i'm not abandoned by my parents like i um am in contact with both my parents like you know both my parents help me whenever i need it or whatever the case may be so that's not an issue however um emotionally sometimes i feel neglected or i feel not really cared about and today was one of those moments where I had to be like, this ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, I'm, I got super upset and I'm just like, I'm not going to need y'all. Like, eventually, I just want to be able to have all the money in the world and be able to, like, buy y'all your own houses and then not talk to y'all no more. Like, pay for y'all shit, but, like, I don't know, <laughs> you know? And then I realized, like, I'm not fucking perfect. Who the fuck am I to judge anybody? Who the fuck am I to say what somebody else is doing is wrong? If my dad don't text me ever, that's his business. But to me, in my heart, I feel like, damn, my daddy don't check on me. He don't say shit to me. But it's not so what. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like I can't take that shit personal. I get to feel my feelings about it. But me taking it personal, I feel like I kind of somebody has to be somebody has to be to blame. If I blame my dad for it, it's just like I don't know what the fuck he been through. Maybe he don't know that that's something that fathers do. They check on their little girls, or they they help them with shit, or they do shit for them. One thing about my family, like if they gonna help you, they gonna make you feel bad as hell about that shit. Like why you put yourself in this position? You should have did this. You should you shouldn't do that they're very close-minded and with me being an entrepreneur it's like everything is so amplified I just feel like don't nobody see me don't nobody see all the hard work that I'm doing it's just like Caprice is lazy or why you don't got a job or why you don't do this or why you don't do that and then I get a job and do I have help getting to work or do I have this or you know like are you gonna watch my baby so it's like a constant judgment and now I noticed that that affects is affecting me you know so all this childhood shit is affecting me now and i don't know if it's all kind of coming together and making sense because it's like together in my head it's like i'm going from point to point to point but it's making sense so i just hope that i'm making it sense i'm making it make sense to y'all but let's break it down so the shit that i went through as a child i felt like and again this is just my feelings this don't have to be the reality of it because sometimes as adults we realize that how we saw things as when we were kids wasn't you know wasn't true or wasn't real so to me I felt like I was emotionally neglected I felt like my mom picked everything over me like she wanted to go hang out with her friends or go kick it or go do whatever and as a kid I'm not realizing shit that's her free time that's her wind down time that's her self-love time that's how she you know recharges after she just been at work with students all week like you know it was certain shit that like I didn't know but it didn't make my feelings less valid so growing up I felt very emotionally ne neglected I felt like nobody believes me so I could tell them something about myself like mom I don't remember this I'm going through this this hurts this this and it was always girl you so dramatic you crazy you just like your grandma all this shit so I grew up feeling like nobody believed me um people didn't trust me so I kind of stopped trusting myself to be honest and when I stopped trusting myself I stopped listening to my intuition I stopped feeling confident I stopped being a kid <laughs> I stopped being a kid and I just kind of focused on what it was like to be a grown-up so I found myself constantly being like I can't wait to get older I can't wait to get older I can't wait to get this age or I can't wait to this month or I can't wait to this and my life became a constant wait 
I used to wait for my mom to get home from work. I used to wait for her when she got home to come out the bathroom. I used to wait all night for her to fucking cook dinner. I used to wait for her to come get me from her friend's house. I used to have to wait for us, wait for the bus or wait for this. Because for a long time, my mom didn't have a car. So we're sitting here waiting on other people for shit that my mama really needs to do. Like just different shit where I kept feeling like I was put in a position of waiting. So you grow up and guess what you do? You date niggas like your parents. So... I got with Jonathan as, and I felt like I was constantly waiting, waiting on him to come home, waiting on him to tell me how he was feeling, waiting on him to support me, or waiting for the love to be different, or whatever, and it's just like, the shit that you go through as a child really affects you, and it has a lasting as effect, and I feel like there's so much that I haven't forgiven, because I'm still so bitter. I'm still so angry and I'm still so upset. And like today, I felt like I only had me because I was on a bus stop and the bus took so long to come. I had been waiting probably like 45 to 50 minutes. And it was just, I was getting so frustrated. I felt so alone. It's just like, I'm really out here a single mom doing it on my own and I don't have help. Um, but then it makes me feel bad because I'm like, I don't have help, but I do. I have my mom who's helping me more than I could ask for it's not more than I could ask for because I want to ask for more I always need to ask for more but it makes you feel shitty when you know that you can't or somebody can't help you when it's out of their hands or you know so it's kind of like even with my daughter it makes me realize like sometimes she hold herself back from asking me things that I absolutely know that she wants or wants to do or wants me to come see and I'm so focused on my own life that it's like I don't I can't always give her what she needs or a lot of times I find myself feeling so down about the things that I can't give her because of I know the effects of it and I know what it feels like even growing up my mom did not have a car for a very long time I think until I was in high school um and then now Kamaya is going through the motions of me not having a car so she's like huh mom like we gotta catch the bus and uh you know we used to do fun stuff we used to go places to the park and different shit and now she's aware of the fact that like oh we can't do that because we don't have a car um So, I just feel like everything that I've been through is, like, just now. So, yeah, I ended up having a customer, but, um, I don't know. I don't even really know what I was talking about. I think I was talking about just the lasting effects of childhood trauma and things like that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I was talking about. I feel like the video or what I was saying was kind of like all over the place (laughs) a little bit um but i want to kind of bring it around full circle before we go ahead and end up this video um sometimes i find it really hard to tell my story without feeling like i'm going to offend other people without feeling bad or anything like that um and it's hard (laughs) um the main topic was just how hard it is to be old to be your own person and it's like for me everything that I said earlier was kind of what led up to this so now I'm in a space where it's like I'm trying not to take things so personal because you need people you know you need people you need relationships you need connections you need relationships with your mom and your friends and your cousins and I feel like sometimes when we're triggered by our old trauma so like I've been triggered because, shit, I need so much fucking help. I'm going through so much. My car broke down. So it's like, damn, like, I've been fucking getting help. Like, I needed somebody to watch my baby. And then it's like, if somebody can watch her, but then I can't get that her to them because I don't know. Yeah, whatever. But it's just like, I'm at the space where I need so much help. But my anger, my bitterness, my resentment, my 
my unwillingness to forgive is is kind of having me in a chokehold because I have the right. That's the thing. Like God is showing me, like bitch, not bitch, but like girl, you was right. Like you was right about this person. You was right about this snake. You was right about that. So it's like my feelings are validated, but that don't mean that people are not still to be loved or there is not still knowledge to be gained from the situation. Like for me. I just, I feel like I'd be so mad at my mom for so many things. Like, real shit, I'd be so mad at her. And then it'd be like, all I want is her approval. And all I want is her to look at me like I'm not failing. Like, I'm not fucking up. Like, she don't get my entrepreneurship. She doesn't get me doing tarot readings and all this shit. And it's like, in my mind, I can't wait to be rich just so I can show her, like, bro, like, I wish you would have believed in me. Like, I wish you would have saw me how I saw me instead of telling me you can't do this and you shouldn't do this and you need like instead of that I crave like softness I crave somebody to be kind to me and I need to realize that my mom don't gotta be none of that shit I can find that in the people who I create relationships with but for my mama that's not how she loves that's not how she gives love to me and I don't have I don't have to keep holding on to who she was when I was a child and hold that over her. If I know that my mom is always late or if I know that she's a certain type of way or this is how she gives advice or this is what religion she believes in and it doesn't allow her to believe in what I believe in. So it's like certain things like that are like I be feeling like damn I always got to be the bigger person. Like well why can't you feel the same way about the shit that I'm doing wrong? Like why can't you still love me through what I got going on? You know, but I can't change anyone, and that's the hardest part. With me, I don't have a significant other. I'm not even dating. Like I'm, I cut that shit off. Like I don't text nobody. I don't date nobody. I don't go on dates. I don't. Niggas are like a waste of my time right now. Not saying forever, but like right now. I want a man. I don't just want a nigga. I can get a nigga. <laughs> I done had a couple of niggas. Like you know, but damn, like I want a man. So. I'm learning that, like, a lot of this shit that I'm holding on to, I have to let go. Like, I'm a lot like my mom, but I don't like her for certain things that she do. But it's like, hey, Caprice, what if we're making you recognize these things about your mom? Because you do them and you need to change them. Because that's not who you are. That's who you adapted to be because that's what you saw, but that's not you. You don't have to love like that. You don't have to move like that. And it doesn't have to mean that you don't like somebody or that. It doesn't mean that I don't like her or I think that how she parents is bad because it doesn't mean any of that. I literally look up to my mama for everything. But as soon as I get mad at her, I'm like, ew, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, how? Like, you're not nice. And it's like, no, <laughs> that's just how I feel right now because I'm thinking about all the other times that she made me feel however I felt in the moment of whatever reason I got upset. Or if like my dad or friends. Oh my God, y'all, this year has friendships has been such a big thing. Like I've realized I'm such a bitch. <laughs> I'm such a bitch in my friendships. And it's because of how trauma has lasted so fucking long. And it's like, I'm not a bitch on purpose, but me being bitchy, is validated and the reason why i say that is because i've had friendships where i was really treated wrong and i had to cut that person off but no communication happened where it was like hey i feel this way about what you did and i want to talk about it the times that i have done that the responses that i got was just like did you even read the message that i sent you or like did you even really understand what i said to you after I communicated, so sometimes it's just like, damn, I've been fucked over and didn't get closure, so I'm still triggered. So when another friend or somebody I want to be a friend do some weird shit, it's like I'm triggered. And then the trigger kind of continues. It's like, I'm not even really mad at you. I am mad at you, girl, but I'm really taking a lot of other shit i'm taking how those other friends treated me out on you because i felt like shit you shouldn't be like that like bitch what the fuck 
And even though I'm validated for being maybe upset because, oh, my friend was talking shit on Facebook and my old friends used to do that. It's like, bitch, I don't do the sneak this and shit. But it's like, instead of being like super triggered by, oh my God, my old friends used to do that and now you're doing the same thing. So bitch, you a bitch, I don't like you. Instead of doing that, like I want to learn how to just talk like, hey, you're triggering me. Like you doing some shit that I've seen before. But instead of judging you and just assuming that you're like that person, can I, can I tell you how what you're doing affects me? And can we try to maybe make it better? But then it's like, sometimes I just feel like that shit just go in one ear and out the fucking other. Which makes me resort back to feeling like, damn, I'm my only person. Like, I have people, but not people who love me how I want to be loved. They're family members or long-term friends who are just in my life type shit. But it's like, I want to choose who's going to be in my life. I want to choose my friends. I want to choose my mentors. I want to choose the people who are going to watch Kamaya and my kids grow up. The, the person who all I got to do is call like, and she know it in my voice. What you need? What you need, friend? What's up? You know, just my friend who going to just come over and just, you know, like, y'all know what a person is most people have a person where it's just like them i don't need to tell you that i'm upset right now because you can see it in my face or i don't need you to tell me that everything's gonna be okay because you know that i know everything gonna be okay but you also know that i'm emotional so i'm gonna cry about that shit it's like when i say my person i mean somebody who knows what i need somebody who loves me how i want to be loved not who loves me how they want to love me because I'm learning to accept it like that's a thing too I can't my biggest problem is that I try to make everybody love me how I want to be loved I want my mom to be soft that's not who she is I want my dad to be attentive that's not who he is I want my daughter to be considerate and it's not that she's not but it's that she's fucking six like she don't know how to consider that shit because she don't know about bills you know so I'm learning to just let go of my triggers let go of the shit that keeps making me feel like I don't have anybody or I don't need anybody because realistically I fucking do I need people I need y'all you know I need my supporters I need my mom I need friends I want friends I want a man I tell myself like I don't need a nigga which yes the fuck I do I don't need a nigga I want a man I need a man like I need my partner regardless I never want to be that girl like I don't need no friends bitch no, I need you, ho. Like, come here and be my friend. Give me a hug. <laughs> Give me a hug right now. <laughs> right now. You know? I don't need my cousins. Like, bitch, fuck family. I don't want to be old and with no family. <laughs> like, I don't. And that's how I am now. Like, I just, like, bitch, I don't need nobody. And I, girl, I'm the person that always need help. I'm always broke. I always, I always need help. I'm always sad. I always need encouragement. Like, I always need shit. And... When you so traumatized, sometimes your trauma don't allow you to need shit. And I'm telling y'all, that's self-sabotage. That's what that is. And I don't want to do that no more. Like, I've realized that, like, I can't get nowhere by myself. I can't get famous on YouTube without y'all loving me and liking my shit and commenting and giving me encouragement. I need y'all. I respect y'all. I fuck with y'all. I could never say... Oh, the subscribers always in my business. Like, you know how some of the influencer girls be? Like, uh, I'm always in a blog page. Bitch, I pay your bills. No, bitch, I pay your bills. If I don't watch a monthly YouTube video, bitch, the algorithm gonna go down. I'm not saying me specifically, but I'm saying we. You know, so it's just like, everybody needs somebody. And where I am right now, <laughs> I've been in the space of like, I don't need nobody. I'm just telling y'all and I'm telling God, like, I wouldn't let that shit go because I know that that's not really me saying that shit, but that's my trauma still having a lasting effect on me at fucking 28. My eight year shit, my eight year old shit is coming out at 28. Some shit that I done forgot about and now I'm still dealing with it. So, yeah. Growing, learning, holding yourself accountable, being different, choosing to make different decisions learning from your past, learning from your parents, learning from your trauma, learning from your experiences, learning from your trials, learning from your tribulations. It's all a part of 
life. It's all a part of what we need. So I'm going to stop taking shit so personal. I'm going to stop feeling like you don't like me. Or I'm going to stop feeling like I'm such a bitch. Because let me tell today I was on a bus, right? And I'm crying. And the man smiling at me. And I got so mad. Like, nigga, why the fuck are you smiling at me? Like, like because I got triggered. Because I've been emotional, been sad as fuck. And a nigga done told me you should smile today. You look pretty when you smile. Nigga not knowing what the fuck I was going through at the moment. Bitch, ain't no fucking reason to smile. Right? So I got on the bus and I was crying. I'm so mad. And I kept telling myself, like, fix your face, fix your face. And I'm like, why? To appease other people? Bitch, I'm sad right now. I'm venting. Like, I'm letting my fucking feelings out right now. Literally, I'm alone on this fucking bus. Like, I'm fucking grown as a bitch. I'm on a bus. I'm sad right now. I just went from having my own house, own car, own fucking everything, three jobs, to not be, to catching a bus. I was sad. And in that moment, I kept feeling like I couldn't even be sad because people was watching. The fuck? Again, a trigger. Somebody from my childhood must have told me to shut up. But to tell me that my feelings wasn't valid. So I say all this to say that get out of cycles, you know, get out of old way of being, get out of the unwillingness to just forgive, to forgive and let go, to forgive and forget, like for real. You don't gotta hold on to shit. And I, I'm learning that. Like a lot of this shit is just learning lessons. A lot of the people who hurt us are just meant to teach us some shit. And that's just what it is like i love the shit out of my mom i love the shit out of my friends i love the shit out of my dad i love the shit out of everybody who has done me wrong i love the shit out of jonathan i love the shit out of my exes i love the shit out of old friends i love everybody because to be honest they all made me better people like i feel the best that i've ever felt about myself about my body about my thought process about my mind about my family about my dreams my goals i just feel like i can do anything i can conquer anything so sitting in that that self-sabotaging isolating i don't need anybody energy it's just gonna hold me back because i do need people i need help and being able to say that and be vulnerable even if i don't get the help or even if i'm rejected i'm gonna keep trying i'm gonna keep trying to succeed i'm going to keep trying to have it all because the moment i stop i'm giving up the moment i tell myself fuck friends is the moment i'm going to be lonely as hell the moment i tell myself fuck a nigga is the moment that i'm going to give up on having children all these things it's like i don't want to do none of that shit like if you hurt my feelings thank you if you broke my heart thank you if you broke up with me if you tell me i was a shit if you beat me up like um if you didn't call me bald head bald head small head if you didn't call me fat if uh you was one of the niggas who hit it and quit it <laughs> like all that shit like all that shit i'm learning to just forget so i really hope that y'all do the same if y'all are already learning to forgive or in the process of forgiving others drop me some comments down below and tell me how to do it because I'm tired of being bitter. I'm tired of being angry. I'm tired of being upset. I'm ready to be soft and feminine and cute and loving myself. Because, bitch, I just be angry. My face be like, all the time. And I'm still beautiful, but, like, I don't want to be angry. I can be mad. I can get upset at things. But the anger that I've been feeling, it ain't going to lead to nothing but destruction. This anger is not about justice. This anger is not a fighting anger. It's a, it's a mad anger. It's a bitch all got me fucked up anger. And I don't got shit to prove to nobody. You know, I don't want my what I accomplished to be out of anger. I want it to be out of a peace of mind and knowing that I'm blessed and God loves me and I deserve everything that came to me, not in spite of somebody else. All right, you guys, but that was pretty much the video. I hope y'all got something out of this. I hope it made sense. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on all your social medias. And I am out of here, you guys.